TV. And I'm afraid this, this week it's just me and Mistress Gilly. Yep, that's right, because Deck is actually leaving us today and won't be back <laughs> till Christmas. Yes, apparently, like Harry Potter, he's got a letter from Hogfart School Magic and he's going to be a wizard. So, Emily, let's say goodbye. Bye! <laughs> Thanks for, for all of your best wishes and things. I'm going to miss you all, but, but uh, don't be sad because I'll be having a wicked time out there <laughs> with all the other wizards and witches at Hogfart School of Wizardry. Yes, it's, uh, and of course, I'll be having all those run-ins with uh, he who must not be named. Who? Anne Robinson? Anne Robinson, yes. That's <laughs> how are you, uh, you going to get to Hogfart, eh? Well, I'm going to uh, take the old trusty Numbum 2000 to uh, King's Cross to catch the train from Platform 9 and 4 quarters. Platform 10. Platform 10, then, yeah. yes. Just platform 10, really. <laughs> so I'll just jump on and uh, away wow. I go. See us. Okay. See you. Bye, all. Bye, Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Away I go. Bye. Any second now. Any second now. Bye, all. Bye. 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 I'm, uh, I'm off, then. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Come back on the way. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> You can't do it, can you, you stupid liar? Well, I can't do it if you're all standing there looking at us, can I? What, so what do we have to do? We'll turn away and then you'll fly off. Yes, turn away. Turn oh. away, Oliver. Turn away and close your eyes. Turn away. On, you, turn away. Turn away. <laughs> and you, turn away. Close your eyes. OK? Farewell, my muggle friends. I must fly! Ant! Man? Look! He's doing it! Oh, he's flying! A deck! I'm sorry we haven't doubted you! Impressive, eh? You won't look so small from up here! Hey, watch this! Look the loop! No, Declan, don't! There isn't enough room, don't! Here I go! No. Oh! Oh! I don't know. Where's the boy racers? It does come on for you, Milado! <laughs> Only for a short spell. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 serious. No, but I, I said wizard and, and the spell. But the, the... Here's what's coming up on the Alfie Scat! Go on! On the rest of today's show! <laughs> but, uh, don't, don't weep, folks. I'm not really going. I'm staying here. It was just, just a little joke. <laughs> Get in. Phew, we can all breathe a sigh of relief then. Okay. Now let's uh, welcome the Saturday Morning Squad. They're going to do the SMTV wave. Oh. <laughs> Turn to the right, Anthony. Oh, sorry, I forgot to see you. <laughs> How'd you like to ring the win? Yes, and this morning's competition is one for the ladies. Well, that's not fair. Big. <laughs> I do want to take it up with the producer. Mm. Well, I think you should after the show. We've got five Game Boy Colour consoles to give away, each with three Powerpuff Girls games and key rings. For your chance to win one of those fantastic prizes, all you have to do is answer this very simple question. How simple? Very simple. What is it? Sorry, oh, lads, I'm sure you can begin as well. It's not exclusively for the girls, is it? Well, I know you took a fancy to one. <laughs> On the show this morning, we've got Brian from Woo! Big Brother! We've got five and we've got Samantha Mummers who get your email questions in. Email us studio at smtvlive.co.uk or you can contact us via our website www.citv.co.uk. Just click on the old post bag. Thank you. And uh, fax us all to 737-8393. Right now though, music here in the studio with their new single, Let's Dance. It's five! <laughs> of money. Do you have any comment? Uh, a bit, bit of a mix-up there, actually, Kat. I was actually fined a three-figure sum of money for poaching. Got a lovely bit of salmon if you invested. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come in. And uh, Coach Declan, you've been uh, coaching all the celebrities this morning that are taking the penalties. How do they look? With their eyes, Kat. <laughs> Obviously. Thanks. Let's take a little look at what you can win this morning. This is a clip from the groundbreaking future CD soundtrack from the film. Now, if you'd like to win that prize and play Eat My Goal, then all you have to do is answer this very simple question, which is, what is Brian from...
and you, you could be playing Eat My Goal just a little bit later on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hit Freddy! Sorry. Right now, Sorry, it's man. time for Let Digimon. <laughs> On the show, Brian from Big Brothers here. We've got Victoria. Yeah, Mia. Yes, and uh, Kat is. B male. That's right. We'll get you through the biology exam. <laughs> it was the last thing we do. Uh, right now, though, it's time for the SMTV post bag. <laughs> Time on tell it. Yeah. Yeah. A bit okay. nervous, but we're fine. We're gonna chat to you in a little while, but for now, would you like to leave in a nasty boy style? I think I should. Okay. Nasty. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Very good. I didn't know who's gonna do that. Very funny. Uh, I'd like to say a happy birthday to Jackie and also Robert Lee. Good luck. It's his testimonial today. Newcastle are playing Athletic Bilbao. And these Ten two years. are running off. Literally, they've got to try and make the 20 to 22 train, haven't they? <laughs> so I'm going to be left in the studio, and these two are running off to try we'll and get up to Newcastle. Good luck, mate. We'll never Good luck. We're, <laughs> going to, we're going to go for that. Listen, thanks for all of your letters. I had a fantastic one from Beth Whelan from Burgess Hill. Uh, she says, Dear Aunt Denton Cat, I was in my garden picking runner beans when I came across this one. Look at the size of that. I thought I'd send it in because I love your show and watch it every week. It's approximately 35 centimetres long. Have you checked that, Declan? Have I you have verified that? I've lost my ruler, but I have, I have checked it. Is it around? I have verified it, and it is about 35 centimetres long. Now, well done, Beth. But unfortunately, somebody has uh, stolen your thunder this week. The that's measuring just, implement? Let's just check. That's, a, that's about 35 centimetres long there. Okay. The same week. <laughs> no, yeah, that, thanks for that, Beth. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, th thanks for that. No, that was wicked. But you got gazumped because look at this. In the same week, can you believe? William Sexton uh, wrote to us and said, Dear Aunt Dead and Cat, I have sent you this runner beer. Wow! Oh! Now look at the size of that. And look, that is much more. That is. Oh, good one. fell over with shock. <laughs> <laughs> And another about 15 centimetres. That's about 48 centimetres long. Yeah, 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 yeah. It says here, my nan nan gave it to me and said, ask daddy if it's big enough. What does she mean, aunt? <laughs> I've just eat it, I think. Little chomp on it, you reckon? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Cut off me. <laughs> right, I've got the next letter here. Oh. And it's from Nicola from Middlesex. And she says, Dear SMTV, when I turn on and watch SMTV Live, I saw Wonky Donkey. So uh -huh. I thought I would make a Wonky Donkey. I wow. called him Wonky too. So there you go. Oh, wow. That is That's great. a Wonky Donkey. Oh. You know, what? Uh, that, is, that is so good. It's actually quite suspicious. A little too good, maybe. Maybe too good. So, I don't think you made that, you lying <laughs> And in fact, there's a little bit at the back, I don't know if you can see that, where it's either to make it look homemade or she's actually pulled the label. She's pulled the label! She's pulled the She's pulled the label! 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 She's pulled the Shall I oh, move on to mine? I've got one. Lord. I came in the office this week and somebody said to me, Deck, you've got a big package and look what they give me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a very, it's a very special one, this. Very impressed with this. There's a letter with it as well. It says, Dear Aunt Deck and Cat, we work on Jonathan Coleman and the morning crew on Heart 106.2 in London. That's a radio station. And in one, in one of our dull staff... <laughs> Thanks, Deck. <laughs> Thanks for that. Just in case, you know. Thanks, Deck. Uh, in our dull staff meetings, we've eaten some crisps when Nice Nick found this crisp. Uh, is it us or does it look like an ear? It's from <laughs> Nice Nick, producer Posh, and Del Boy, the producers of Jono and the Morning Crew. And look at that, I think that does look like an ear. Look, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if I'm Chester. not mistaken, it's salt and vinegar as well. Go on, then. Oh. I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Now then, <laughs> I'd like to end with this. We've been sending um, some very peculiar sweets from Leah and Erin Knappman uh, of Nantwich, Cheshire. And they say they got it while on holiday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the well, we're not going to read it again, are we? <laughs> yeah, not next, it's fine. Um, that they got on holiday when they were in America. And, and it's the sort of boiled sweets and lollies and stuff, but with real insects, edible insects inside. Now, take a look at the first one. There's a scorpion in there, can you see? Can you see that? And then I uh, found that, but then also the one I thought, well, this is even better. A lolly with a worm in! Look at that! <laughs> so what do you reckon? <laughs> Fancies don't come out. I'll do, I'll do the address as well. He gets on with it. If you want to send us anything at all, then send it to all the usual addresses. Oh, SMTV Can't Live, PO Box double two one double two, London SE one nine GL. Uh, you can email us this morning if you want. Studio at smtv.co.uk. You can contact us through the website www.smtv.co.uk. That's half of it, in there. Co.uk. All you got to do there is just click. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's oh, it. Also, seven, seven, three, seven, eight, three, nine, three. Go on, give it a jump. Give it a jump. Go on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's made a final mistake. <laughs> <laughs> There's many more to come still on this morning's show, so we'll see you after this break. But eat my gold. Don't go away. <laughs> In my goal, the rules are very simple. I'm going to ask football-related questions. If you get that question right, then you get to pick a celebrity to stand up and take a penalty. The winner of today's star prize is whoever scores the most penalty from today's five available goals. Now then, let's go over to our goalkeeper. He's, of course, Ant Fingers McParlin. Ant, could you sum up all your training procedure in maybe a little dance or something like that? <laughs> Stealer, isn't he? Such a steam stealer. Right, now it's time to go to an ex-player who had to retire due to the fact that he did a foul so bad he was banned for five years and four years just for the action replay. Let's go over to Mr Declan Donnelly. Uh, thanks very much, Kat. We've got a fine array of footballing superstars on the bench today. Let me tell you who they are. We've got Brian, formerly of Big Brother. We've got Samantha. We've got Abs, Jay and Scott from five. They're all on the bench for us today. But of course, being footballers, they've got numbers on their backs, but they're sitting in the wrong order. Harumph! <laughs> to you two. Now then, let's go over to our callers on line one. We should have Elliot Jenkins. Hello, Elliot. Hi. Hello, good morning. How are you? Fine. Who do you support? Man U. Man U. Favourite <laughs> Favourite player? Um, hmm. Ruben Esteloy. Ooh. A slightly controversial choice there, Elliot, but good luck for today. Let's go over to line two. It should be Gemma. Hello. Good morning, Gemma. Hello. Hello, Gemma. Where are you from? I'm from Slough. Slough. And who's your favourite football team? Um, Man United. Yeah. And who's your favourite footballer? Um, David Beckham. Ah. It's the ladies' choice. Now then, the rules are very, very simple. I'm going to ask you questions. If you think you know the answer, buzz using your telephone. If you get that question correct, then you get to pick a number between one and five, and that person will then stand up and take a penalty. If, however, you get the question wrong, then I'm going to hand it over to the other caller. The caller today who scores the most points from the five available penalties wins today's star prize. Do you both understand the rules? Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. OK, let's go for question number one. Who are England playing in a friendly on Wednesday? Oh, <laughs> Out of time. Uh, let's, it's, not, it's Holland, by the way. Let's go to uh, question number two. Who are Manchester United playing in tomorrow's charity shield? Gemma. Gemma? Liverpool. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> So you can pick any number, Gemma, any number you like. It's one, two, three, four, or five. Number four, please. Four. Number four. <laughs> it's Samantha. Oh. Oh. Samantha's first up today. There, she shows the number four. To go, 
That's the one. <laughs> Step up next one. You've got to take your penalty now, love. I will. Okay. Just, can I just there. Right, right just there. Where okay. I was. Oh, she's trying to cheat. She's cheating. Are you ready? <laughs> he steps up. He strikes the ball. Oh! 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 Very, very, very hard luck indeed there, Gemma. Let's just take a little look at a replay. Well, Samantha seemed a little bit confused there, but she finally got to the ball, <laughs> struck it. But look at that, the keeper was, keeper was equal to it. Give him, a, give him a fish, he's obviously an octopus, it's not a goal. <laughs> Unlucky there, Gemma, but come on, Elliot, still everything to play for. Question number three, when is the next World Cup being held? Gemma. Gemma. 2002. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> OK, you can pick one, two, three or five. Um, two, please. Two! Number two, it's Jane! Yeah. Uh, funny little pause. Yeah. Jane versus Andy Shook! Today, let's take a quick look at a replay. Well, he always looks sure in his mind. He struck it well, and the football is a bag of chips. Then that's the battered sausage. Marvellous! <laughs> Congratulations, Gemma. That's 1 0 to you. Okay, question number four. How many points does a team get for a draw? Gemma. Gemma! One. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> okay, you can have one, three, or five. 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 It's Brian! right and score a penalty to even stay in the game otherwise Gemma wins okay question number five Bayern Munich come from which country Gemma Gemma Germany yes that's correct <laughs> which means that in fact Elliot can't win so Gemma has in fact won the game <laughs> congratulations Gemma you've won the games console and two games and all the other goodies how do you feel fantastic thank you but Gemma how do you feel about just Taking a penalty just for fun. That'll be good. What do we think? Should we take a penalty? Yeah. Okay, you can pick number one or number three. Um, three, please. Three. Yeah. It's Scott. Scott. Yeah. Scott strikes. had disappeared a long time ago, but that just goes to show we're all friends now. But congratulations, Gemma. Those prizes will be winging their way to you. And, of course, there will be more from Eat My Goal next week. Indeed there will. Do you have a, a word to sum up today's um, whole affair? I think we've learned something very important here, Kat. Uh, yeah. But uh, what it is is anybody's guess. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. And how about you? One word to sum up the match? Orchestra. <laughs> We'll see you after this break. Hi, it's uh, the 11th of August 2001 and this is SMTV Live. Stay tuned because still to come this morning we'll be chatting to Brian from Big Brother. So get your email. And we've also got the brand new video from Travis. It's, wicked. it's a good one. Stay around for that. But now here's part two Digimon. Yeah! Come on, Wonk Dong. There you are. Hi, you're welcome back. There's your, there's your nappy changed, all fresh and clean. Well done. There you are. Hmm? I should definitely be doing that with Monkey Donkey. Ah, just, just ignore him. He's feeling broody again, that's all. Come on, Monkey Donkey. Let's get your wind up, mate. Come on. Monkey oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Donkey, maybe we should call you Piggy Wiggy. Mm -hmm. Devin, uh, don't you think you should be doing that from the other end? Oh, Anthony, I don't think the great British public would like to see it. Out there. <laughs> no, 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 no. The other end of the studio, please. You'll have kids one day. Hmm? Then you'll be sorry. Dirty, <laughs> not be dirty, not be dirty, not be dirty. 
Does anyone fancy a game of Wonky Donkey? If you can defeat the dark with the one today, then you've got a chance of winning this. Irvy, the world's first wireless internet responsive robot, plus a state of the art PC with speakers. <laughs> and CD1 from Responder, all you've got to do is answer this question Which Big Brother star could. Ellis, yeah! <laughs> Shut up! It's time for Wonky's nap. Honestly, you lot, irresponsible. You shouldn't be allowed near stuffed animals. I tell you. Deck, <laughs> Fit to raise kids, not Deck, Lynn. You put the dirty nappy in the prom. <laughs> oh my god, I'll throw Wonky in the bin! <laughs> He's clueless. Yeah. Yeah. Dear diary, yes, I love you. These are the continuing adventures of me, Catherine Noddy Slide Dealy. The early years. Today, me and my cousin Brian had a brush with another world. We went to the fair and paid 50 pence on the fortune teller machine, Madame Ripofsky. From then on, our destinies were out of our control. Not even roundabouts? Oh, yes. No, there was a roundabout. You had to pay 10p and you sat on the middle of it for 15 minutes and you just watched all the cars go by. <laughs> but the thing is, by the 20th go, it was pretty boring, really. I'll tell you what, though, Brian, wasn't that, wasn't that lad on the dog and familiar with you, eh? Hmm? He pinched you. You know what? I know. <laughs> Doubt it. Come on then, shall we open the predictions we've got from the fortune telling machine? Well, I want to, but don't you think it's a little bit like meddling with the dark art? Oh, come on, Kat, it's just a bit of fun. It's not like witchcraft or anything. <gasps> Brian, but I've never told anybody this before, right? But one of my ancestors was burned at the stake. Don't you? <laughs> yes, people are very suspicious in Birmingham. <laughs> what Van did was just get three numbers right on the lottery. Bless her, she didn't even have time to collect a tenner. Oh, come <laughs> on, let's open the tickets. Mine says... Go on. What does something it... terrible will happen to you. Oh, smart. <laughs> oh, Brian, don't come on, smile. Don't worry about it, it's all right, because look, mine says love will come your way when you least expect it. Everybody knows that's rubbish. That's rubbish for me. In fact, that's so rubbish, I'm going to put it in the rubbish bin right now. <laughs> Ow! You couldn't have not my teeth <laughs> Someone find her for the telling me missing an angel. <laughs> <laughs> what Tommy's got a wobble is? My too, could this be love at first sight? Well, either that or we've both been eating the same dodgy hot dogs. No, I've got to call me mates, tell him where I am. Meet me back here in an hour with a stone watch. I need to ask you for him out. <laughs> like the prediction said, so that means something horrible is going to happen to me. Oh, Brian, come on. Calm down. <sighs> Lightning never strikes twice. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> no goldfish for me, eh? <laughs> Great, you fine love, and I get a malice on the bunts. I hate this stupid bill. I hate you. Prediction for...
from Madame Ripofsky, predictor of the future. Oh, why did we meddle with witchcraft? Why? Hi, Kat. <laughs> I see you got one of those silly predictions. What yes. a con. What? I've got one. Mine says... Yes? You will get a date with a sexy blonde hairdresser. Right. And you will slip on some sick. How silly, right? They were silly? Yeah. Well, just give them to me. Thank you very much. All right, then. See you later. So, so they're all just pot luck, then? Poor Brian. Oh, that the fate of fortune should be so good to me and so cruel to him. Oh, well, you know what? I'll tell you one thing. Two losers are better than one. In fact, Brian! Ah, Brian! Ah, here we oh, go. I got some more tickets. And look, oh, oh. this one for you. Yes. Come on, what does it say? What does it say? Mega! You would get a date with a sexy blonde hairdresser. What's yours say? Oh, mine doesn't matter. Mine doesn't matter, Cousin Brian. You know what? I think we should go home now because then you can get your hair all done just in case that sexy blonde hairdresser is cool. OK? Come on, it's rich. I think... Ooh. What? Ooh, watch out for that say. <laughs> so, there you have it. I was destined never to see my Prince Charming ever again. But if fate was handing out a cruel blow to my cousin Brian, then I'd rather be by his side having bad luck than without him having good luck. Yes, neither me nor Brian need our fortunes told to be happy. Oh, well, that's all for now, diary. Till next time. <gasps> oh, oh, measure myself again today. No oh, change. But if I stuff that fairground candy floss down there, I can always pretend. <laughs> which means there are 136 shopping days till Christmas, and this is SMTV Live. Have you honestly worked that out? I sat in the commercial break and worked it out. To <laughs> He's not sad. There you are. Oh, thank heavens I found you. You're there. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Aunt. My turn to hide. Yes. <laughs> One, two, three. Here's Clueless. Here's four, Yay! five. Mr. Twee. It's against all laws of physics. It's a one-way ticket to the destruction of the ship. Well, your plan, Lieutenant Mogamix, is a disaster waiting to happen. We're talking <laughs> flock wallpaper and pattern carpets here, pet. Tragedy! <laughs> OK, OK. My highly tuned command instincts tell me that what we should do is have Indian for dinner and then Chinese for tea. Are we all agreed, Mr. Twee? <laughs> oh, why not? Let's be decadent. Lieutenant <laughs> Morganix? All right, as long as we're all totally naked. No, you might be minded alien. K2Y, do you agree? In fact, don't answer that, Metal Buttocks, because uh, you don't matter, your opinion doesn't matter, and nobody cares about you. <laughs> Can't stand androids, hate them. So there we go, super duper. Hmm? Another exercise of diplomacy, uh, greatly done by the, the courageous Captain Demed, the hero of the SMTV Nebulous, and the, uh, this chief scout for all forms of new entertainment. You sorted out lunch, Captain. It's not like you did anything brave. <laughs> Didn't I, mister? Didn't I? You see, we captains are a... A hardy breed. I mean, I didn't fight in the uh, Jupiter Clone Wars, admittedly. But a captain's decisions must be made on logic and bravery. Captain, we're picking up a ship on subspace radio. D really? Hail them and su surrender. Hail them for mercy. And be sure to tell them I've got asthma. Oh, yes. it's only a one man ship with no weapons, sir. Uh... Well, destroy it then. Blast it out of the sky. Sky, go on. Go on, shoot it with our biggest guns. Kill him. Yes, okay. Switch into warrior mode. <laughs> <laughs> Commander Lanceney's here. Reporting for duty, sir. Die, alien scum. <laughs> <laughs> Is he dead? 
dead yet? Is he dead? Hmm? Shoot him again, just in case. No, no, you see, sir, I'm, uh, my des desiria, des designer interior, half of me was too late, sir. The alien beamed aboard, and he's right behind you. Hey, then, on the bridge, sir. Well, hello, baby. Uh, permission to initiate the first snug protocol? There is no such protocol, Lieutenant Mogganix, and you know it. Permission to destroy the ship, sir. That won't be necessary, Captain Demerit. I come in peace. <laughs> he is telling the truth, Captain. He is unarmed. My scanners can penetrate his clothing. <laughs> Hello, big boy. Are there any more at home like you? Boy, have you got the wrong alien. Now listen, mister. If it's my ship you're after, then listen to me. You can have it, actually. It's all yours. Yes, I've got a full tank of petrol there. You've only got 30,000 light years on the clock. And I tell you what, you can keep the Louise tape. Just please don't hurt me. Captain, I seek only your help. My race are the big brethren and our planet is dying. Oh, is there any way I can save your planet by subjecting myself to gamma ray bombardment and my body literally flying and spreading my guts to the four solar winds? No. In that case, I'm switching back to interior designer mode. Hiya! Did you miss us? Bet you did. Bet you did. Bet you're lying, but you did, didn't you? You did. Oh, hello! Uh, this is Mr. Tabor Twee, the second of the two personalities that are in that cyborg shell. E, I love your outfit, you know. I wouldn't be able to wear that on duty. I'd get dragged up before the Space Council. <laughs> and they'd drag up quite early as well. Yes, thank you, Mr. Twee. Now, listen, mate, I gave ten pence to aliens in need last week. There's only so much you can do. Do you know what I mean? All we ask is that you fire a blazer on the phaser on our planet's surface that may release a deep tension surface relention and bring new life to our world. Ah. I think I see what you mean. Crew, follow me. I have a plan. <laughs> now, what I was thinking is that we could target two sections on the surface of the uh, of the planet. If we get uh, <laughs> if we get uh, creating two large basin areas, one around here and one around here. We could then fire two torpedoes into those basins. One here, and one here. Now what that would do, that would create an explosion, it would release a spring, and it would let those basins fill with water, creating two natural reservoirs. How do those beauties look? Uh, they are corkers, Captain, corkers. Yes. And lovely big ones too. And in return, Captain, we have an exciting new singing and dancing group you may like to feature on your Earth SMTV show. They're a five-piece hologram group called Virtual Westlife. Sounds like a deal. <laughs> Sir, should I go down to the planet's surface and distribute clothing to the young men who live there? You mean your clothing, don't you, Lieutenant Mogganix? Uh, no, you stay here with me. You two, go to our beam room. We will beam you, beam you back down to the surface of your planet. Clear the areas and let us know when you're ready. We will fire our torpedoes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Get out of here. I'm beaming the aliens down now, sir. <laughs> good. Good, They're good. <laughs> Lieutenant Mogganix. Yes, sir. Put the ship onto autopilot and make it go really, really fast. What? We're leaving? Damn right we are. Noisy explosions, holograms. There's an old space saying, Lieutenant Mogganix, in situations like this. It says, run away. It's not the best thought out nugget of wisdom, but it always works for me. <laughs> well, in that case, I'd better let my other half have a run around. Switch into warrior mode! <laughs> Laser reporting for duty, sir. If we're not helping the aliens, maybe I may, may I be permitted to lay down my life fighting the kettle in the kitchen? I don't like the way it looks at me. Oh, very well, Commander Laser, but take that robot thing with you and make sure it meets the same fate as the kettle, if you know what I mean, there's a good man. Yes. Come, KY2. Charge! Nice one, Hans, nice one. <laughs> 
ship en route to Earth, sir. Shall I send a message to all frequencies signaling us surrender to any ships that were in a 10 year light resistance frequency? I think you're making a lot of money, Lieutenant Morganix. Sir, then I was. You, yes, I think you were. Yes. You read my mind anyway. Yes, do oh. that, please. And then, shall I water your sunflower that grows in the ship's garden? Yes, Lieutenant. Make it grow. <laughs> Bless her. Now then, we've got so many emails for you, sir. You so would not believe how many emails. The nation you. are addicted to you. How does that feel? Very, very weird. Yes, but good but in a good, good way. Very good, very good, but also weird at the same time. Right. Well, but listen, good. we've got loads of emails, so we're going to start straight away. This one's from Angela, and she says, "Why have you shied away from the public eye since winning Big Brother? And what was the first thing that you bought with the winnings?" A sec I first thing I bought were a pair of sunglasses. Every star needs yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. And why I've shied away? Because at the moment, I just want to chill with my family and friends for a while and just get used to being me again. Yeah. The most important thing. And then when the time is right, I'll do something. Move forth into I'll the world. Forth. And, and, yes. and to, this was your first TV show. This is my that. very first Have you enjoyed years. yourself this morning? Yes, I have. Really good fun. We've been very fun. gentle with you. Except with the costumes. Except... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you requested that earlier. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I said make it extra tight. That was me. <laughs> this one's from, um, from James. He says, "What was going through your mind for the 30 minutes you were in the house by yourself, pacing up and down?" James, um, I just wanted to leave. To be honest, I just, I just had enough. It was 64 days, and everyone else had gone, and I was kind of scared of all the demons behind the mirrors. And I was banging, going, "Hello, <laughs> can anyone hear me?" And I just wanted to go. I just really had enough and I just wanted to leave. I was like, let's do it, let's do it. And I, I told myself um, I wouldn't cry, but I did, unfortunately. Aww. There were tears. Everybody loves this stuff. Yes, I know. It. So after you were in the house for that long, when you eventually did leave, now, I mean, like, a, a week, two weeks on, do you miss it at all? Do you miss being in I there? don't miss the, the house or the environment, but I miss the people. Right. Because we did have good fun together. Yeah. Um, but I, there was a lot of rules. Like, you couldn't, you, I mean, there's things you couldn't do, things you couldn't talk about. Yeah. And you kind of felt restricted, really. Yeah. You couldn't really be yourself completely. Yeah. Um, but I miss the people. I don't miss the house. No, Kerry Morton from Portsmouth wants to know, uh, were you in any way surprised by the crowd's reaction when you left the house? Yeah, I mean, I was completely shocked. Really? I never expected to win and then, you know, to come out knowing that um, all these people had voted for me and everyone shouting Brian with t-shirts. I was completely... So you had no idea the effect that the show no, had I mean, on the for nation. nine weeks you know nothing because on eviction nights on Friday there's um, horrible music pumped into the house. Really? Right. So you, you can't hear the You crowd. can't hear anything. You, you weren't allowed to stick your head around the door or anything, were you? Nothing. We were told if it, was, it was like a line across the door. And if you went... And if we went, we'd be evicted. Because uh, oh. last year's contestants were able to jump out of yeah, ways. Yeah. But this year it was Big Brother Extreme. Ooh, very we, hardcore. Yeah, very, very. Um, next one is from Charlotte, and she says, Hi, Brian. Hi, Charlotte. Um, oh, what did you feel like when you won? And was there anyone in the house you would like to meet up with regularly or never meet again? Mm. <laughs> and when I won, I was, I was just very, very shocked. I was full of emotion, really, it's being there like for 64 days, not seeing my family and friends. And I, I suppose I just felt like, oh, you know, let me out. And what was the second part? Did I miss? And then the second part is, will you be meeting up with anybody regularly? And who would you never like to see again? Yeah, um, I, I, I'd like to see them all again. There's no one really that I disliked at all in the house. Everyone was really, really nice. Um, and Josh? Lot... Even Josh. Josh is a nice guy. Uh... <laughs> How rude. <laughs> and, um, I planned everyone that's more or less London-based. Mm. Like Amma, Bubble, Penny. Yeah. And Narinda's, I mean, Newcastle, people that, are, you know, I, I can get to quite quickly. Yeah. I'll keep in contact with. Excellent. Oh, that's good. Uh, this one's from Suzanne. She says, how do you feel about the media attention you're getting at the moment? And she goes on to say, I voted for you 30 times. Oh, oh thank you very times. much. 30 times. <laughs> um, th does, I mean, I'm still quite shocked, the, the media attention. I mean, Big Brother ended two weeks ago. Mm. But yeah, every paper I pick up... Still, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, it's not me, but it's everyone else. And sometimes it's like, you know... I'm sure there's something else people want to read about, really, yeah. because a lot of it is Big Brother, and it kind of ended two weeks ago. I mean, it is quite good, and it, obviously, you know, it's quite good to get the attention, mm -hmm. but sometimes it gets a bit annoying that you can't just do your own thing. Yeah. Do, you do, you know, find, I do you find it bizarre, because we had Helen on last week's show, yes. and uh, we were talking to her about, the, there has been people saying they really don't know what to do with their evenings now, Big Brother's finished mm -hmm. on the Yeah, I, I mean, I, people go, you know, I'm your number one fan, TV is boring, blah, 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 and it's kind of weird, because I mean, what can you say? Because I don't know what impact I've had, or the people have had, on other people, because I was in there. 
Mm. So maybe yeah, if I was yeah. watching it, because yeah. I know like last year when I watched it, when it, when it was over, I kind of missed it. Yeah. But you can always buy the video that's coming out. Ah. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, he's he could, learning he quickly. He's learning the video. He's learning quickly. Yes. For all. Just very quickly, Nicole and Alan Yeomans want to, want to say, can you please say your famous three words, demons, evil and how rude? Demons, evil, how rude! Yeah. This morning, Ryan. Good luck with everything else. Thank you. Uh, we've still got Sydney UK to come this morning, and here is what's in store. great song and great great video and it's great video as well so if you get to see it watch the end very good Indeed. thanks to all our guests what a show thanks to five <laughs> thanks to samantha Mumba. and thanks to brian from <laughs> yeah. it's not over there though you've probably heard them already look who's here it's the cdq audience good morning audience <laughs> They're here to see Jamira Choir on today's show. We've got Nelly Furtado here in the studio. Emma Button will be here. Victoria Becker will be here. Brian's sticking around for CD UK. He's going to do a better work than us. And find out, can a Tom Kitten make it three weeks at the top of the CD UK Saturday chart? It's CD UK. Yeah. You know where it's at. See you after the break.